Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough World 5 Creme Croc Industries Incorporated Oil Dromelli. We begin! And you'll notice right off the bat there's a rope up there that's awfully suspicious. See so if you grab onto that, you can go up here and you're like, oh, what do I do with this? Well, you're actually supposed to jump on this. <laughs> you get a TNT barrel, which you can use to blow that up. Yep, the oil jumps can be blown up, and there's a bonus area right here. Oh, I got a one up! Whoa! I never know how to land into those things. <laughs> it's like that. Anyway, DK barrel, if we should need so. Well, need one, but I don't. All is well, so far. <laughs> I'm going to whack those, and I'm going to move through here. Watch us, watch us. Ah, there's a secret barrel cannon up there. If you missed that, you still can do it just by bouncing off that other tire over there. But anyway, blast this wall open, and we got a super double secret going on here. Just watch this. I am going to aim for all small bananas. <laughs> like, why would you want to do that? Well, just watch this. We get... A barrel for our trouble! Yeah! So what do we do with that barrel? Look at those arrows! There's a second bonus area there, and I I was supposed to kind of walk into it, but well, um, I don't know what happened there, but okay, I'll be back there later. <laughs> Maybe it's an emulator quirk or something like that, we'll see, I guess. Uh, another DK barrel here, I guess. And boop. Yeah, I, I don't really know if this tire is all that necessary for this particular section, but I'll take it along with me to show you what it's used for. It's used for stuff like those bananas up there, but no like special bonus areas or anything like that. And oh, I just despawned it. I was just going to say, quite frankly, I think there's enough critters here to pull it off without the tire. <laughs> um... No, we got a DK barrel in that hidden thing in the floor there. Yep, there she is. But not necessary right now. <laughs> I'll just go under you and under you because you're above me. I believe I need that barrel behind him. So I'm just going to kind of do some shenanigans here. And I'm going to grab this here. Uh oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> And yeah, there's a secret bonus area there. And... Oh, I forgot to show you. On these sorts of things, you can just mash the jump button and you can get through it really quickly. And when it's just going up and down like that without any rotation or anything. But, uh... Yeah, you just never know when that's gonna be until you get to the bonus area. But when you see one moving, you can pretty much guess that the other ones are gonna do the same thing. <laughs> and, yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. see, you'll notice that the oil drums don't actually hurt you at all times when there's fire. Like, you can jump on it when the fire is just coming out or um, just going away, but not when it's fully out. Holy jeez, you are an aggressive one. <laughs> and this has got a pattern, I see. Gotta go with the flow. Uh, that looks good. Yes, yes, see, time it well. And you'll give yourself the maximum amount of time. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. I see a secret. Though it's not much of a secret. <laughs> Alright. Kong for one up. And since we didn't get that other bonus area due to some weirdness, let's go back in there and try that again. I'm going to try something different this time because you know how you can get like sucked into the wall um, just by being next to the wall as it's opening up. Yeah, I'm gonna try that and see if I can get past the, uh, whatever the heck that was, because I wasn't supposed to do that if I recall correctly. Uh, and here, I'll show you the other method if if I don't uh, get into that with the cannon. See, it works just the same. <clears throat> Alright, so let's re-bonus area it up here, and, oh, I ruined it. Totally ruined it. <laughs> I mean, maybe I should have went for a one-up there instead of just outright quitting it, but eh, I don't know. Anyway, let's try it again. We're in! Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to aim for just the point after the red balloon like I was doing before, because that always gave me a banana successfully. Come on. Ah, there we go. All right. Now, this is the thing that I was talking about. I'm going to jump over. 
It worked! <laughs> so yeah, this is like a, one of the most missed bonus areas in the entire game. And yeah, it's something that you wouldn't really think about to do, because who is going to think of going for the single banana in that other one? Not me! <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can see that there's an arrow on the other side, and there's an arrow on this side, but there's not really an indication of how to get there, because you can't take, like, barrels through the bonus doorways or anything like that, so... How do you do it? Well, this is how you do it! <laughs> anyway, we're clearly spelling... Oh, shoot! Donkey Kong Country here. Oh, I wanted my blue balloon! Oh! Oh! Now, according to the Nintendo Player's Guide, the official one, if you go into that bonus area, you cannot re-enter it. Like that, I mean, that second Super Seeker bonus area. But I'm gonna prove that's not actually the case here, because I'm actually able to do that. <laughs> At least, maybe, maybe it's because it's an emulator thing, but I'm pretty sure I was able to do that on the original version of the game as well, by just doing that barrel-into-the-wall trick-or-dealio thing. You know, just by mashing into it and, you know, not letting the whole cutscene play. So yeah, here we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> I've got the hang of it now. And now let's try it again. Look at that, we can enter it more than once. <laughs> Alright, let's go for that blue balloon this time. Can I do it though? Can I do it? Maybe. Maybe. I think I can. Eventually. <laughs> I just gotta make sure that my jump touches the only letter that I need to touch, and no other letter. Yes, otherwise it'll lead to failure again. Alright, a lot of letters here. More precision. The more letters, the more precision. N-T-R-Y! Woohoohoohoo! Victory is mine! I finally got 99 lives! <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention, the music in these factory levels... Awesome! I mean, yeah, the music in the whole game is pretty awesome, but... Yes, <laughs> look at that donkey, he's just so excited by the music himself. Alright, I'm out of here. <laughs> Next level, trick, track, trek. This is a thing where you gotta ride a thing. It can be tricky at points, but you gotta kind of look ahead and you should be able to manage it. Best of luck. <laughs> and let's see what I can do here and see if I remember where the bonus areas are. I think one's here. Hmm. I thought there was a bonus area right there. Let me try that again. <laughs> if I recall correctly, or maybe I'm thinking of the, the one that you gotta fuel up. You'll know it. I mean, you know what I'm talking about if you played this game, well, through and through. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is just kind of do one of those. Hmm, maybe it's me. Yeah, maybe that's not what the level I'm thinking of here. <laughs> but yeah, I could have sworn it was right below that uh, vertical area there. You know, where the the track goes upwards, not downwards. Eh, well, we'll see. I'll just continue on with the level here, and then maybe I'll try that again later if I remember if that's the spot or not. <laughs> I kind of want that. Ah! Uh, I think I want to be on this side. Yes, just got to watch the patterns, then you'll know which side of the platform you need to be on. And you notice that I chose to be Donkey first, namely because it's going to make easier for uh, Diddy, you know, at certain points and whatnot. So I figured use the hardest one first. And that DK barrel we seen back there was probably one of the hardest, actually, uh, to get because you don't really have much time to get it, and then the platform moves away from you. Uh, I want that. Ah! <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a secondary Neki here, but it doesn't really spawn until, like, after, yeah, around here. And you gotta jump on it like this. You can't just, like, let yourself l just plop onto it. Oh, this is a spot! I recognize that, at least. But yeah, there's a... That secondary Neki just doesn't seem to do its thing until the time is right. <laughs> and you cannot uh, jump, I mean, you cannot just let yourself move down on top of them, you know, on the elevator. Because, well, not an elevator, whatever the heck this is, because it just doesn't seem to work. You'll end up taking a hit. That's all I do a jump before I land on said enemies, and uh, there we go. <laughs> Got that bonus area cleared out. 
Checkpoints! And I'm gonna stay on this side. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. I can't avoid leaving that barrel. <laughs> because no matter what, this is kind of like an auto-scroll level. This is the only thing between me and death. Is this little platform here. Oh boy. Mm, I don't think I wanna... Yup. Jump away from it and back on. Oh shoot! I think I can get on top of it. Ah, yeah, like that though. Yeah, uh, normally you're, what you're supposed to do is get on top of the place with the the naughties, but that doesn't really work once you're past it. <laughs> and you notice that this purple variety of claptrap here is a jumping kind. Whenever you jump, it jumps as well. So this is probably the one of the trickiest of speedy claptrap bonus mini games. <laughs> oh, yes. Careful of the snarly teeth. <laughs> I got it, yeah! Woo! Victory goes to the monkeys! And we're off. Well, one's a monkey, one's a gorilla. But details. Details. Yeah, of course, they put me back over. <clears throat> Bye. The midpoint type place. Oh no, actually this was just past the naughty section. Never mind, never mind. I just I was just trying to remember the level for a second. You're shooting faster than the other ones, aren't you? Ooh. Yeah, that's a very similar pattern. Oh no, this is before the other naughty section. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, because this was the one that I managed to jump off of to get to the bonus area. Uh oh. Ooh! That would have been nasty for Diddy. <laughs> I would have had to do like a jump over it from one from the very left side to the very right edge. And yeah, that would have been... Uh, this one never falls for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> I can't get it to fall no matter what either. Like, just uh, just out of testing sake, I tried jumping up next to it on other playthroughs and just did not work whatsoever. It's just there to scare you, I guess. And maybe some sort of bug happened. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> and... and, and, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna bait you out that way. No, no, you're not gonna shoot... Oh jeez, that scared me. <laughs> You're not gonna shoot that way. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that would be terrible for Diddy, but well, kind of glitches a little bit at the edge there, but that's okay. And there's a little extra bonus area coming up right over here, down there. I don't want to get that just yet, because what if it takes me back to the midpoint? <laughs> I don't know how many of the, of the winky tokens I've got. Whoops, I wanted to get the blue one, of course. Well... Looks like I'm getting the red one. <laughs> They're equally as difficult to get, but I just happened to be one late and I ended up getting the red one. Eh, it doesn't matter, I'm at 99 lives anyway. Alright, alright, I, I, I dare to try and get this. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, what? You can't, like, get back... Oh, really? Really? Can I, like... No, I guess not. <laughs> See, I can't do anything about that one. So it looks like I ended up back at the midpoint anyway, huh? <laughs> All because I wanted that single winky. Ah, well. <laughs> well, I'm at about 15 minutes now, so I'm gonna end off the part here. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I start with Elevator Antics.